have a war. And then we all speak German and eat Pfeffer Potast every day. Let's play Spot the French Soldier. Did you see him? Easy, right? The Germans held a meeting and decided to be jerks. They found it to be cold, wet, and miserable. Just like home. And Thatcher said no. Okay, here, have some weapons. You have two seconds to name these two countries. You're wrong. Unless you got it right. Then good job. No, please, no, please, no, please, no. Do it or we'll sanction you. You know what? Just for you, I'll do it. Churchill was a man with many talents. He was an artist, a butterfly enthusiast, and he had an unpublished manuscript about aliens. That's all well and good, Mr. Mussolini, but what kind of haircut am I giving you? Let's go with... Bold. Fair enough. And a new rule was established that every Englishman withheld the right to walk into the center of Berlin, pick out any German they wanted, and spank the hell out of them. I'm Hitler. Sounds... good. Just a foot for now. No can do, Winston. But you know what? Here, have some weapons. And then he shot some pikecrete and the bullet ricocheted off it and hit someone else in the conference room. Nuts! And that's what they sent off as their official reply. What a wonderful time to be alive! Hey, you're dying of dysentery. And also we're being raided by Vikings. What an awful time to be alive! Not if I have anything to do with it. That works for us too. Oh no, look out, red hot poker in the eyes. I can't see! And thus you can't be king. Where are you going? Uh, to the tanner's shop? Why? To get a... Tan. An absolute bastard. No. He said no. That bastard. Wait, I thought you were the bastard. Dude. Uncool. Finally. Holy smokes. <coughs> okay, boys, pack it up. They're surrendering. Oh, sorry. Was I not meant to split his head open with the tomahawk? Damp. Man, look at me. I look fabulous. Have you ever seen such a handsome boy? No sorry, Georgie. No way. You're the handsomest, smartest, most popular king that ever lived, and everybody likes you. You're doing such a good job. Uh, your majesty? Oh, you're still here. Get the hell out. I'm talking lawyers extraordinaire Johnny A and Johnny J, experienced military commander George Washington, businessman and future alcoholic beverage Samuel Adams, fiery orator Patty H, guy who married a rich lady Big J Dickinson. But I'm in charge. No, 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 char what the? First, we need to pick a commander in chief, and I think we can all agree that that job should go to the man, the myth, the legend. George Washington. My friends, I am humbled and honored that you would consider me for such an important role. I did not expect for this- All right, you've been showing up in a military uniform every day for the last 10 months. We all know you wanted this, so cut the crap, George. Dude. Uncool. What does it say? He's gonna... Lick my... Gross. Boom. Washington's got himself some big guns. Of course, Jefferson had over 100 slaves, but we don't have to talk about that. No, not that kind of thirsty. That kind of thirst. All right, Benny, we're in. Hey, isn't this kind of funny? You know, because you're a republic trying to overthrow an absolute monarchy, and I'm an absolute monarchy helping you? Like, like, could you imagine if your revolution inspired my people to revolt against me, and then they imprisoned me and all my family, and they chopped all of our heads off? Could you imagine? Hey, ladies, I'd like to fly you like a kite, because you're electrifying. <laughs> hey, big boy, look at me. Quick quiz. Name the most American thing you can think of. Baseball? Bold Eagles? Calling the winner of an America-only sports tournament world champions? Or maybe math and science? Wait, math and science? That's right. If you didn't know, science is as American as combining chicken with waffles. Man who imagines being strangled by a tarantula while a kangaroo breaks his kneecaps and thinks, mmm, yes please. For the man who pictures himself being eaten by a snake in the burning outback while eating a Vegemite sandwich and thinks, Mmm, yes, please. Dingo being eaten by a crocodile, being eaten by a death adder, being eaten by a koala, being eaten by Mel Gibson. Yes. Good. Hey, UK, looks like my car is broken down. Want to give me a tow? 
No problem, friend. I got you. Hey guys, get a load of this. Mm. You know mine. Oh, oh, look wow. at all this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just really Hey, who left this big hole in the fence? Guys, get a load of this. Oh wow. Oh yeah. 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 What a lovely morning for some farming. What? Those damned emus, they have it in for me. They're bullies. They're nothing but bullies. Calm down, Bruce. They're just animals. It's not personal. Hey, Farmer Bruce, where did you find that hat? The toilet? Yes. Target spotted. Well, was it an emu? No, sir. It's an emo. Damn it, Jones. Learn your vowels. I'm sorry. Okay, it looks like the humans are coming for us. But check this out. I've come up with an amazing plan. See if you can follow me here, okay? When they approach, we run away. Sir, you're a genius. Okay, we need to get closer. No, you idiots, not to me, to the emus. Oh, sorry. No, no. I like it. I'm gonna shove that camera up your- I hope you boys are getting great footage of this. What on earth are you filming? Take me home To golden fields and sights of days gone by It's where the heart lies With stories on- Hey, uh, guys? I solved the emu crisis. Really? How? I just made some better fences. <laughs> Who wants to start a revolution? So, we got this crazy new big A-bomb that can destroy an entire city in one go. Yes, my spies told me already. Oh wait, I meant to act surprised. Wow, that's amazing! Am I sure I want to send nuclear secrets via unsecure public coffee shop Wi-Fi? Am I ever? Does the A stand for atomic or ass? Hooray, we won! Communist, 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 communist. If that's not free and fair, I don't know what is. You want to know something? You guys suck. My father used to punish me severely. You're home late. Oh, Stalin. I was just out with my friends. Friends? You stink of capitalism! You're out engaging in imperialist debauchery again! I swear, Ivan, I can't keep doing this. Hey, you know who I haven't checked in on in a while? My good friend, China. Whoa! What happened to you? Replacing the ruthless dictator that had replaced the first ruthless dictator with the same ruthless dictator that had previously been replaced by the new ruthless dictator. Nukem. No. Nukem. No. Ah, oh, come on. You're fired. So they elected famed World War II general Eisenhower, who is really hard to draw. Hey, Stalin. How you doing? Oh, he's dead. Hey, guys. You know how Stalin was imprisoning and murdering us all for doing basically nothing? Yeah, he was kind of a jerk. <laughs> I'm really not sure how this is news to you. Modern art looks like a child urinated on a canvas. Well, would you look at that? Turns out he can tell me what to do. The two sides were spying on each other a whole lot throughout the Cold War. And sometimes, when I'm home alone, I like to put on my wife's dresses, sit in the corner, and cry for hours. Very interesting. Who the hell is this? He's a high-altitude weather enthusiast who flew off course. Okay, that sounds plausible. Wait a minute! Why does he have a gun and a poison needle? Because he's a... Very naughty high-altitude weather enthusiast. Check out this vegetable peeler. We're gonna build a wall, and it's gonna be a big, beautiful wall, and it's gonna keep out all the Mexicans. No, sir, that's wrong. It's gonna keep in these Berliners. Oh, sorry. It's gonna keep in all the Mexicans. 
Phew, let's hope that's the biggest crisis of my presidency. Hey, I'm a communist who hates America. You're a communist who hates America. You know what that means? We should fall in love. Uh, I was just going to suggest you set your missiles up in Cuba. Oh, no, no, you're right. That's a better idea. Be still, my beating heart. Sir, you need to look at this photograph. You're right. That's the cutest dog I've ever seen. Sir, I was referring more to the Soviet missiles. Phew, let's hope that's the biggest crisis of my presidency. It hasn't exploded, so I'm sure everything's fine. Whoa, boy. Uh, hey, I wouldn't eat that if I were you. Okay. What were you going to do today? Go for a swim? Yeah, I wouldn't. Are you breathing right now? Yeah? Yeah, I wouldn't. Let's play Spot the Viet Cong Soldier. Did you see him? Of course not. Wow, you mean in America the people can actually remove their leader when he breaks the law? Why not just rule by force? Where's the corruption? It's an honor, Premier Brezhnev. Likewise, President Carter. Please don't do that. Then.